Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, this talk, I'm going to introduce you guys a system called a Campus. It is a, a deployment system with general purpose, and uh, it helped us to streamline the OpenStack deployment. My name is Shuo Yang. Uh, I'm a principal architect of uh, Cloud Computing uh, in Huawei US R&D Center. Before joining Huawei, I uh, worked for Google for four years in their infrastructure team. So let's get on to uh, Compass. When we started this project, uh, we have a pretty ambitious goal. We wanted to build a general purpose deployment system so that uh, this system can help us as a hardware vendor to deploy any di complex distributed system onto the hardware. So uh, during our each of our design uh, decision, we have uh, you know, extensibility as our primary design goal. Although it's not limited to uh, OpenStack, to deploy OpenStack, uh, it really helped us streamline OpenStack deployment like a charm. It will be open sourced under Apache 2.0. And uh, I want to mention several you know, highlights for this project. First, it has a very small uh, code base, 100% Python. Uh, I think it's around 5,000 lines of code. And it has uh, successfully helped us to deploy several uh, dog food cluster. And uh, please check out our uh, uh, project in our wiki page at this link. So let's take one step back when we you know, go into the detail of the campus. I'd like to you know, share with you guys the, uh, the concept called the data center as a computer. It's a concept uh, coined by industry veterans like uh, Google guys, IBM guys. And what, what is a data center as a computer? If we look at the computer in the 90s, right, uh, we have this uh, CPU as the processing power. We have disk as the you know, storage capability. We have NIX uh, as the you know, networking and uh, you know, connectivity capability. And we have this open source uh, operating system called uh, Linux. But Linux in the early 90s wasn't a very uh, pleasant uh, uh, system. Uh, from the user perspective, um, because it needs a lot of uh, domain knowledge to get it uh, running for a regular job. However, nowadays, if you have a live CD, right, I can install this uh, <coughs> Linux uh, in my box in a, like a, a blink. So let's fast forward, fast forward to the nowadays data center. Now the data center, we have uh, this uh, compute servers, you know, that's uh, processing power. We have a uh, storage server, that's uh, the, like a disk, a traditional disk. We have switch, they are networking c capability. And fortunately, as of today, we have a very vibrant open source cloud level operating system called the OpenStack. Then what is lacking? I think uh, we need an automated uh, you know, deployment uh, process. We hope you know, we have a general purpose, we have a extended, and uh, we have an open system. So uh, because that's a very important piece of uh, software, uh, I think a lot of vendors are working really hard on this problem. Crowbar is a pioneer project. And uh, Triple O, I think uh, you know, people are talking about this project uh, in this conference, uh, you know, widely, and the fuel that's another, you know, a tool offered by uh, by uh, Marintas. And uh, I think if you guys are developers here, you know, DevStack is uh, must have choice. But uh, in this talk, uh, I'm trying to give you a, like a appetizer talk. I'm really want I really want you to join my other talk tomorrow. It's more technical. Hopefully, after that talk. I can share with you guys you know, my thoughts and my vision that why we want to build a you know, compass system. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, you know, life of a deployment. And I, as I said, we want to have this uh, deployment as a general, general uh, purpose system. 
as a hardware uh, you know, uh, vendor, you provide a switch, you provide a servers, they are connected to each other. And uh, before the software deployment process, it's normally called a rack and a stack. Now having that, you will normally have some kind of a host operating system installed or some kind of a hypervisor. You need to have, because you are building a distributed system, that's a distributed uh, pool of uh, processes. They, these processes are con configured correctly so that they can talk to each other, and they, are, they form a, a you know, distributed system. And at each layer, you can see there is no lack of uh, uh, toolchain. In the you know, um, networking gear, you have uh, SNMP, you have uh, other you know, protocol, and you have IPMI to control the server, you have a cobbler or razor to control the uh, you know, OS provisioning. And also you have a chef puppet this uh, configuration management tool to config this uh, you know, uh, you know, processes and uh, configuration. For Compass, we are building another layer of software. We want to do away with those uh, boiler uh, plate uh, code. We want to enable the you know, user, the operator, or you know, in Google's term, SRE, to be able to really think of the problem itself. What kind of uh, you know, uh, distributed system you really want to deploy? That's the value of this uh, project. And the Compass, as I said, from day one, we decided to be extensible. We decided to make it programmable. Therefore, the key components include a RESTful uh, API server, in this demo, I will show you a Huawei you know, front-end UI. But uh, you can see, as a third-party solution vendor, you can you know, write your own front-end. And also, we have this modularized uh, functionality uh, uh, module. We have a hardware discovery module. We have you know, a configuration uh, management module. Uh, we call this, in this slice, as a package de deployment. We also have a OS provisioning module. And uh, for us, we designed this uh, system in a plug-in architecture. We have our Huawei, you know, uh, Huawei hardware plug-in written when we uh, designed the system. But uh, uh, when we test our you know, uh, extensibility, we add 200 lines of code to fully support HP hardware you get a sense of uh, how uh, you know, exen extensible the system is. So <clears throat> again, like uh, you know, configuration management, we have, uh, a, we have a Chef plugin working uh, on uh, OpenStack scenario. I can see the possibility working with other configuration management uh, software vendor, like uh, Ansible, like uh, Puppet, like uh, Salt, all this stuff you can imagine. So um, as I said, this is extensible. Currently, we work on OpenStack. We, work in, we have a charm, a streamlined uh, uh, system for uh, Ubuntu and uh, CentOS. But you can see, with this uh, RESTful API, we can easily extend those systems to Hadoop, to uh, Ceph, another very popular system in this community. Uh, we can support other uh, host OS or hypervisors. And then more importantly, we can support other you know, hardware, like uh, open computer project, right? Um, I welcome you guys. Uh, you know, if you have any interest, we can talk. So this is a, a demo session. So I will give you a real demo of our you know, production installation. This is in our. Uh, this is a video shot in our research data center. Let's play it. So as I said. You know, before doing any uh, software deployment, you need to have a rack and stack uh, process, right? Uh, this is Huawei's uh, research, uh, uh, research uh, data center. This is a topology of our current uh, 
you know, a video shot. And after we have our you know, hardware well c connected to each other, and by the way, in tomorrow's uh, talk, I want to share with my uh, thoughts about how to uh, you know, uh, automate that process. In this one, one as I said, we have a uh, you know, RESTful API. We, did, we wrote a front-end UI to consume that API. This is uh, like a wizard-based, right? Uh, if you, as a deployer, as an operator, you follow this uh, question page by page, you will be able to uh, you know, get an OpenStack system up. This page is showing you that by uh, managing the networking gear, you can automatically discover the uh, you know, compute resource in a topology aware way. Think of uh, the real uh, deployment uh, in your data center. You normally deploy a, a several rack of uh, you know uh, compute uh, several rack of uh, server. They normally automatically match to the uh, rack, uh, automatically match to this uh, 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 switch. So we are able to uh, in this in this demo we just uh, you know select a, a subset of uh, those, but uh, in normal uh, in normal case you select all. So this page allows the operator to uh, you know, configure all the uh, necessary um, you know, credentials in the OpenStack cluster. So after you are done with that, I think the next step is the most error-prone step. Uh, we all know that as an operator, if you really want to configure your OpenStack you know, networking configuration is uh, error prone. We have uh, this uh, wizard based, uh, you know, step by step system. After answering the question, you are able to get the system up. Not only we can allow the user to use the, uh, you know, config the way to define the system for like tenant network or, you know, storage network, you can use the default value. Um, because those are, you know, um, not visible to the end user. So this one is a public network. You need to uh, configure that because you need to answer which, you know, IP block you want to offer to the uh, user. As I said, this is the uh, I think in this, uh, you know, demo we are using the default value. So um, this page allows the user, the, the operator to automatically fill in the server name. Think of a real deployment. You have uh, hundreds of uh, machines. Config the uh, you know, host name is a pretty uh, tedious uh, work. And we allow the user to specify a set of uh, you know, uh, pattern to name the use, uh, servers. And uh, if you are done with everything, uh, you can proceed the real deployment. So um, this is the page to track the real-time uh, you know, uh, progress of uh, our system deployment. As I said, uh, Compass provides you a network topology aware way to look at your hardware. You can see this is a topology uh, view of our installation. Other than the topology view, we have this uh, list view, right? Just uh, you know, blink. Um, I think the last uh, you know, node is the uh, controller node. It takes a little longer to finish. So um, So as I said, this is the graph view. Right in our front end, and this is a list view. <clears throat> okay, I think we are done with the deployment process. Uh, let's uh, play with our just deployed, uh, you know, cluster a little bit. Um, after you log in, you go to your project uh, page. You you know configure your tenant uh, network. 
Uh, this is the, the capability offered by Neutron. We created one network. For some fun, we created another one. Um, and after that, you uh, create, a, create a virtual machine. And connect that those to the tenant network. So, <clears throat> oh, this step I think uh, it is showing the network uh, topology in this tenant. So after that, I think uh, you know we log into the VM. You know, uh, log into that to see you know what is happening. I think that this is pretty much the demo, and the, what we have done in our research data center. Uh, I welcome uh, your you know questions, and uh, I really want you to join me tomorrow in my uh, in the afternoon for more technical uh, in depth uh, session to discuss all these uh, benefits. And I look forward uh, you know potential collaborations. Thank you for your time. Uh, thanks.